فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم The second category to mention by way of example and illustration some aspects of the general term being referred to in order to draw the attention of the listener to the type of thing that is being referred to and not to completely define the boundaries of the word الصنف الثاني ان ان يذكر كل منهم من من الاسم العام بعض انواعه على سبيل التمثيل وتن وتنبيه وتنبيه المستمع على النوع لا على سبيل الحد المطابق للمحدود في عمومه وخصوصه Now the author goes on to the second type of اختلاف التنوع We said how many types does اختلاف التنوع go back to يرجع الى الى اصلين it goes back to how many اصل two this is the second اصل he goes into The second اصل is the second اصل is um ان يذكر كل منهم من الاسم العام this general word are you with me everybody will mention from it بعض انواع some of its types على سبيل التمثيل just for a, as an example والتنبيه and to bring it to the attention of المستمع the one who's listen to this type لا على سبيل they don't intend from this it's just example for it their intent is not الحد المطابق that, they, that whatever they say is the complete definition of it it's not had meaning it's not جامع مانع no it's part, just a part of the explanation of it صح للمحدود في عمومي وخصوصي that they're trying to fully define it and fully give it a a complete understanding that's not what they are intending here for example it, Allah says in the Quran we can give many examples but we'll give more Quranic examples Allah says was sabiquna asabiqun those who hasten and those who hasten who are, some of the mufassirin they said bi annahumul muqimuna lis salati those who established the prayer are you with me brothers but are the sabiqun only those who established the prayer Are they only the ones who only established the prayer? Because we know iqamatu salah is a fard min afrad al-sabq. It's only a part. Are you with me? It's only a part of what what the people of sabiqun are upon. So each person just try he takes a part of it. He takes a what? A part of it. Wa lidhalika this statement of the author this one which he brings are you with me this second type that he brings four categories can be brought out of it. Now he himself mentions those four categories. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah mentions them. Four types can, can be brought out of it. Are you with me? The author, rahimahullah, is going to bring them. He's going to bring them. One I've already just given you right now. Are you there? What was the first one? The first one was from the four. And this is the second type, brothers. Are you with me? It's the second type or the, the second asal that goes back to ikhtilafu tanawu'in. The first asal, we gave it, how many times that came out of it? This one, how many comes out from it? Four. The first one is the example that I just gave right now, which is, The wording is general. The word is general. It, it means more than that, but everybody chooses to take a part of what the word can carry. Everybody chooses what? A part of what the word can have. As I gave you an example of, وَالسَّابِقُونَ Some said, They are the ones who are establishing the prayer. They're the ones who are what? Establishing the prayer. فَإِنَّ إِقَامَةِ الصَّلَاةِ فَرْضُ مِنْ أَفْرَادِ السَّبْقِ إِلَى اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَلَى Are you with me, brothers? The second one is what the author is now going to mention. The second one is the fourth point that we're going to move on to right now. Are you with me, brothers? It's the fourth point which we're going to move on to, which the author, rahimahullah, the fourth point in this uh, explanation. Now, we're going to now see the f- So we said four parts, right? Should we mention the four and then go to the statement of the author? Or should we take it as we go along? Should we mention it first? Okay, the fourth, the four are as follows. <coughs> the first one we mentioned, right? The second one is, the second one is, أن الآية المذكورة سبب نزولها كيت وكيت The ayat, the سبب نزول of the ayah is what? It's this and this. Somebody, the سبب نزول. The sababu and nuzul. 
Sabun Nuzul means the, the reasoning why the verse descended and came down. Are you with me, brothers? That's the second type. The Sababun Nuzul, what we know as Sababun Nuzul. Now I'm just going to do istidrat, slightly go off topic, but it's still explaining the four points. What was the second reason? It's the Sababun Nuzul, right? Now I have to mention a bit about Sababun Nuzul, not too, too intense or too detailed. I just want to mention something. al al Mu'abbara. The wordings, the author is going to bring all of this, don't worry, he's going to bring it. Nothing outside it, statements. Pay attention. So the second one was what? Sabun Nuzul. The second one was what? Sababun Nuzul. The, the, the way that this, the, the Asbabun Nuzul is, it can't, how do we know that this is a Sabun Nuzul for this ayah? How do we know? The way that it's said and the way it's expressed that this is a Sabun Nuzul is three ways. Okay? It will become more clear when I give you the points. The first one is, the first one is, Sabun Nuzul means why the ayah came down. Are you with me? The first one is Sababu Nuzul al Ayah Huwa Kaita wa Kaita. Sahabi would say that the, the reason this ayah came down was this and this and this. Clearly like that, directly. Are you there, brothers? So now let's go back again. What what what, what before I, so what, what point are we on right now? We're talking about ikhtilafu tanawur. Sah so, number one. How many ikhtilaf are there amongst the sahabas? Two. The first one was called ikhtilafu. The second one was called ikhtilafu tadal. Ikhtilafu tanawur, we said it goes back to, based on the state, statement of the Sheikh, how many part, how many did it go back? Two. The first one we explained, right? How many did we bring out of the first one? We brought th three out of the first one. Now we're moving on to the second reason why ikhtilafu tanawur occurs, right? How many did we say comes out of it? Four. Four, four comes out of it. First one we explained this, huh? And yakuna lafdu amman, that the wording is general. فَيَذْكُرُ الْمُتَكَلِّمُ wahidan. Min afaradihi. The wording is general and generic, and every single scholar, Sahabi, would come and he would take a part of that meaning. It's like a pie. Everybody's taking a part of the pie. Are you with me? If one person comes and says, This pie I have in my hand, this slice of pie that I have, if he says, This is the pie, does he mean this is all of the pie? He's not defining all of the pie, is he? He's just part of the pie. Are you with me, brothers? So that's the first example. The second one is, are you with me? The second one is the Sabab Nuzul. Sabab Nuzul is when the ayah comes down, the reasoning behind the ayah is coming down. Are you with me? Now we said, how can we establish that this is, there's a Sabab Nuzul, the, the relationship between the ayah and the Sabab? How do we come here? And how does it, how the wordings, how do they come from the Sahaba? We said it comes al alfad al muabbara The wording that they used to express this, the sabun nuzul here, is of three ways. Huh? The first one we said is that they directly say, this ayah came down for this and this reason. Huh? This is in the fourth point, the authors are mentioning in the fourth point. The, the, the second way is, which he mentions in the sixth point, the author mentions in the sixth point, which is what? Kana kada wa kada. The Sahabi would say, this and this happened. Are you with me? فَنَزَلَ قَوْلُهُ تَعَالَىٰ And the verse of Allah came down. And then he mentions the verse. Are you with me, brothers? He didn't say that this ayah came down in this particular situation. Are you with me, brothers? But he says this and this happened. Then the ayah came down. The first one was what? The ayah came down in this particular thing. Are you with me, brothers? The third one is Qawluhu Ta'ala, he will say the statement of Allah, Nazala, it came down in this, this particular issue. You with me? The third one is, the statement of Allah, it came down in this particular issue. The first one was what? The reasoning, the statement, Sahabi says the reasoning of this ayah is this and this, this, this. He, expre he, expre he explains it. He goes, the, the first one is, the sabab nuzul of this ayah, the sabab nuzul of this ayah is this and this. That's the first one. The 
The second one is when he says, كَانَ وَكَدَا This and this happened. فَنَزَلَ قَوْلُهُ تَعَالَى And this verse of Allah came down. And he mentioned the verse. The third one is, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's statement, it came down on this. The first one, it's known as sarih, is direct. The second one is zahir. It's apparent. It's not direct, but it's apparent. Are you with me, brothers? And the third one is mujmal, it's ambiguous. Because it looks like it's his own ijtihad. Are you with me? The third one is ambiguous. It looks like it's his own personal ijtihad. Are you with me, brothers? The first one, he's saying that it came down. This is why it came down. He knows he was there. Whereas the third one, he's saying, Qawluhu ta'ala, the statement of Allah, it came down on this. Had ijtihad. He thinks it came down on this. Are you with me? But the first one is saying to you, Sababu nuzulil ayah, this particular ayah, it came down on this and this and this, this. Meaning something he was present for and something he was there. The first one, are you with me? And the second one, Laha hukmur raf'i. It takes the ruling of as though the Prophet said it. It's mawqufu lafdhan marfu'u hukman. It's wording is mawquf, meaning the Sahabi said it. But the ruling that it takes is as though the Prophet ﷺ said it. As for the third one, the third one, ففيه خلاف بين أهل العلم. There's a dispute amongst the scholars whether that should be considered as the Prophet ﷺ's statement. Are you with me? But it is seven. It is a way to use it as a seven nuzul. But is it? Does it take حكم الرفعي? There's a khilaf, and that's where Ibn Iraqi, sorry, in his Alfiya, Iraqi in his Alfiya, when he said, وَعَدُّ مَا فَسَّرَهُ الصَّحَابِي رَفْعًا فَمَحْمُولٌ عَلَى الْأَسْبَابِ That's what he meant by it. That's what he meant by it. Even though uh, many of the Shurrah who explain it, like Fathul Mughith and others, they don't show you that the, the, the statement of here, Suyu Iraqi, is referring to the third type. Referring to the third type, not the first and second type. Because the first and the second type, the scholars agree. They agree that this is a what? Laha hukmur raf'i. As for the third type, there's a khilaf bayna ahlil ilmi. How many types have we taken so far? Two. We've taken two. We're still in the two. We're explaining too much. We, when we're talking about seven nuzul, we mentioned the way the seven nuzul occurs. Now we're going to move on to the, the third one, right? Are you with me? The third one is what the author is going to mention later, what is known as وَمِنَ التَّنَازُعِ الْمَوْجُودِ عَنْهُمْ مَا يَكُونُ اللَّفْضُ فِيهِ مُحْتَمِلًا لِلْأَمْرَيْنِ The wording has the possibility of taking both of them. It can take both. Are you there? إِمَّا لِكَوْنِ مُشْتَرَكًا فِي اللَّفْضِ It's possible that is mushtarikan, mushtarikan, mushtarikan fil lafdi. They share the same wording. So in other words, it's one word, one word, one word, and that one word can be used for so many things. Such as the word al-ayn in the Arabic language. The word al-ayn in the Arabic language, it can be referred to as, and it can be seen as, al uh, al basir ya'ay. That's ayn. Also, al-naqdu, the money is called ayn. Also, manhalul ma wurud, where the place the water gushes from. It's called an ayn. It's one word, it has many different meanings. Sahih. Ittahada lafdu, its wordings are the same wording. Wakhtalafat ma'ani, but the meanings are different. It's got many different meanings in one word. Okay. وَإِمَّا لِكَوْنِ مُتَوَاطِئًا فِي الْأَصْلِ Or The wording is used
Like the word Zayd, for example, the word Insan, for example. Zayd, for example, is an Insan. Ali, ibn, Ali is an Insan, مثلا. Muhammad is an Insan, for example. This is a loft which is mutawati. Everybody uses it. Are you with me? But the, uh, the way that they use it is qadr mutawaf, is a qadr mutawafiq in bainahum. All of them share this wording fairly. No one has more rights for the usage of the word al-insan more than another person. You're a lot more of an insan than I am. An example that he brought was the word al-qaswara. Are you with me? And as'asa when he was talking about the mushtarak. And when he was talking about the mutawati, he brought thumma dana fatadalla fakana qaba qawsayni aw adna. And the word wal fajri wa layalin ashrin wa shaf'i wal watr. So that's the third type. The third type, if we go back to it, is what? Min at tanazu'il mawjudi anhum. It is the arguments that come from them. The laugh of the wording. فيه محتملا لأمرين. There's two احتمالات. إما لكونه مشتركا في اللغة. In the language usage is مشترك is shared by many. Are you with me? وإما لكونه متواطعا في الأصل. Or in its original meaning, it's fail. So مشترك means uh, in the language it's shared, right? So we need to distinguish between the تواطع and the مشترك, right? The Ayn we said is what? تَقَعُ عَلَى آلَةِ الْبَاصِرَةِ الَّتِي يَبْصُرُ بِهَا وَتَقَعُ عَلَى النَّقْدِ وَتَقَعُ عَلَى الْمَنْهَ لِلْمَاءِ وَمَوْرِدِهِ And we said the word مُتَوَاطِئًا فِي الْأَصْلِ وَالتَّوَاطِئُ هُوَ اللَّفْضُ الدَّالُ عَلَى مَعْنًا كُلِّي فِي أَفْرَادٍ عَلَى قَدْرٍ مُتَوَافِقٍ بَيْنَهُمْ The مشترك doesn't have what the متَوَاطِئ has. What does the متَوَاطِئ have? So that what do you say the mushtarak is? Itahad al the wording comes together, right? This is this is al mantiq by the way. What is what did Abd al Akhdari say in his Sulam al Munawraq for Ilm al Mantiq? He said, Tafa Tashakukun Tafakukun wa aksuhu taradufu. It's tab mutabayana. In English it says synonyms and what did he say? Antonyms. And what else? That's 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 not the rah. Mutabayin, mutabayin, and mutaradifa. What does mutashak? What does what does mushtarak, mushtarak and mutawat mean? Mushtarak, the note that I have here right now is that it's a wording. The ittahad alafduhu, the wording, they all share. So with ain, they all share this wording. The meaning is different, like it. That's it. It's one word. The meaning is different. Does that make sense? So we have Ain. We have Ain. And it means so many different things. Are you there? Tawato, on the other hand, it's a one word. Many people share it. But it doesn't have different meanings. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's one word. Many people share it. Everyone has unique, everyone has the same rights on this word. A woman is, is an insan, a man is an insan. Are you with me? A man is an insan, a child is an insan. We're all insan. It's one word, it, has, it doesn't have different meanings. It's one meaning. But we all share it. This afrad, the type, the people that come out of it are too much. Like in the mushtarak, each the word, many things come out of it with different meanings on it. Araft. So Ibn Taymiyyah is saying that this is the khitilafat, the, the third, the, 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 uh, the, this is the fourth type, right? No, this is the third type. Naam. This is the third type. The third khilaf that happens. Are we together? Does that make sense? Do we go over again? Is that crystal clear? Yeah. So go over again. Good. So we said the اختلاف, اختلاف is how many types did we say? يرجعوه. 
ila aslain. It goes to back to two. First time, how many did we bring out of it? Three. The second time, how many? How much did we bring out of it? Four. The four that we brought out of it, we mentioned an yakuna lafda an yakuna lafdo amen that the wording is general. Fayadkul al mutakalim wahid min afradi like wa sabiqun al sabiqun. The second one is ayah al madkura seven nuzulha. Sah the seven nuzul. And we brought through three al fadh muabbara of seven nuzul. The third was what was what is what we're on right now. Is that the argument is happening regarding a wording that can take two possibilities. They share the word the same in the, in, in the language. The third one is that the argument is happening regarding a wording which can take two possibilities. Two possibilities this wording. In terms of its wording, it's what? In terms of its what? Its wording is shared. Mushtarak. Such as al ain an eye. You call this an eye? You call the eye of the well, the, eye, oh, the water that gushes is called an eye. The money, they call it ain. It's one word, mushtarak, by many. Ittahad al The wording is one, like it, wakhtalafat ma'ani. The meanings are so much in it. And he gives the word qaswara and the word as'asa. The word qaswara, what does it become? Where can it become? That's the that's the mutawa, that's the that's the musharak. Look at the word qaswara. It can be a rami, the one who throws, and it can also be the lion. The lion is called a qaswara. Sah. Are you with me? And there are two genes that are different. Are they not? Are you with me, brothers? Pay attention. Good. The word as asana, it has the advent of the night. Or the departure of the night. Iqbalu layli wa idbaru. When the night, the advent of the night, and that's mushtarak. The second one, the second ihtimal that it can have is wa imma likoni mutawat an fil asli. In the original meaning, many people actually fall under it. Many. Afrad ala qadri mutawafiqatu bainum. All of them fairly share it. Fair. They are fair in it. No one has right over the other. Such as kal insani mathan, like a human being, Zaydun insanun, wa Aliun insanun, wa Muhammadun insanun. All of them are human beings. So this is a laf which is mutawatti. There's no difference between them in meaning, in terms of meaning. They're just different ajnas that comes out of it, or different afrad that come out of it. And he gave an example for that is the usage of the word thumma dana fatadalla fakana qaba قوسين أو أدنى and the word والفجر وليال العشر والشفع والوتر which we're going to see inshallah تعالى that's the third type the fourth is it clear now the fourth type is where he says which he says is the tenth point when he is the tenth point when you're counting it he says ومن الأقوال الموجودة عن عنهم ويجعلها بعض الناس اختلافا أن يعبر عن المعاني بالألفاظ المتقاربة لا مترادفة is when you try to explain one word with another word, but they're really not synonyms. They actually are closer in meaning. They're just close. Are you with me, brothers? It doesn't actually mean it. Are you with me? You're actually trying to explain a word with another word, but if we really sit, there's a khilaf between what you've just said and the word. For example, example would be either إِذَا السَّمَاءُ شَقَّتْ and إِذَا السَّمَاءُ فَطَرَتْ إِذَا السَّمَاءُ شَقَّتْ And إِذَا السَّمَاءُ فَطَرَتْ are different. From the apparent, it looks to you that in Shiqaq and in Fitar, they both mean the same. A lot of Mufassirin mention that. Are you with me? The one who knows the Arabic language, وَكَانَ لَهُ غَوْرُ الْفَهْمِ وَفِيهَا غَوْرٌ بِالْفَهْمِ And he has deep, huh? deep understanding of the Arabic language, will understand that in shiqaq is when something cracks into two pieces. When you slice a and it break, it goes into two. That's in shiqaq. In, for example, if it goes to two qism, it's called shiqaq. But if you hit something and it goes into little pieces, it's called infitar. So, but then somebody will say, "Ida sama shiqaq." What does it mean? Infitar. So, this is ikhtilaf which occurs in what? 
occurs in وهو من الأقوال الموجودة عنهم but أن يعبر عن المعاني بالألفاظ المتقاربة Are you with me? The author says Those are the four when it comes to Those are the four So we've now taken what? اختلاف التنوع Three that comes out of it If we quickly go over it What are the three that comes out of it? So what does اختلاف التنوع mean? The two views can be reconciled between the two of them It can be brought together And they don't oppose one another The second one was what? اختلاف التضادي Which basically means يمنع صحتهما معا You can't both take them You can't accept both of them, can you? No, you can't Because they're contradicting one another Yeah? Very good اختلاف التنوع We said it occurs أن اختلاف التنوع بهم بينهم في التفسير يرجعوا إلى أصلين It goes to two أصل The first one was what? Everyone would take a And use منهم عن المراد بعبارة غير عبارة صاحبي Other than his Other than the other person what he's using And we said three come out from that تفسير الكلمة بمعناها التي وضعت له شرعا أو لغة The second one is تفسير الكلمة بالمعنى الذي تضمنته The first one was what? دلالة المطابقة دلالة التضمن And the third one is what? تفسير الكلمة بمعنى لازم لمعناه الذي وضعت له دلالة الالتزام صحيح؟ And we gave the example of الصراط المستقيم صحيح؟ We said three meaning three تفسير have been given Islam طريق العبودية أو القرآن Islam is what? دلالة المطابقة طريق العبودية is دلالة التضمن And القرآن is دلالة الالتزام Then we went to the second type which is أن يذكر كل كل منهم each party and each group what do they do is they take a general word and they use some of its types that are in it على سبيل التمثيل but in a way to just as we said the pie would be example for that but we said four types come out of that the first أن يكون اللفظ عاما فيذكر المتكلم واحد من أفرادي كالسابقون السابقون and then we spoke about سبب النزول then we spoke about the issue of the issue of مشترك المتواطئ مشترك المتواطئ مشترك we said is what عين المتواطئ we said is like الإنسان the fourth one which is what the fourth one which is the issue of um, أن يعبر عن المعاني بألفاظ متقاربة لا مترادفة getting a word that's not a synonym for the verse But that's very close to it. That is very close to it. Nan. From this category is also the statement, the reason this verse was revealed was due to such and such, especially if it was due to a person. This is the case with the background regarding the revelation of certain verses. وقد يجيء كثيرا من هذا الباب قولهم هذه الآية نزلت في كذا لا سيما إن كان المذكور شخصا كأسباب النزول المذكورة في التفسير Now this is الفاظ المعبرة بها لدلالة على أسباب النزول Remember we mentioned that How many times did we say that are the wordings which they used to express that this is سب نزول Three The first one of the three is this No. Knowledge of the reasons for which a verse was revealed assists one in understanding that verse. For knowledge of the cause helps to bring about knowledge of the result. 